Hi guys, I'm here to talk about AMO denim. AMO, I think it's pronounced AMO. AMO? AMO denim? AMO? Um, it's the Latin root for love, apparently, according to the website. And this denim brand has caught my eye because, you know, first of all, the price points are really high. It's like $300. And so whenever I see that, I'm always like, hmm, are you worth it? And second of all, most importantly, they are just doing things a little differently. Like the jean washes are perfect and they have like really interesting design details. And so this is a denim brand that, you know, will pop up from time to time in my feed. And then I find myself like seeking out and coming back to take another look and a third look and a fourth look and a fifth look. And so bottom line, I've been looking at these things for months. I decided to finally order it to see, you know, one, are they worth the $300 price tag? What makes them special? All that kind of stuff. So. Let's get into it. All right, so these jeans are the ones, guys. These jeans are the ones that like originally caught my eye. And these are Amo's welder jean. The thing I'm realizing after trying on, you know, four different pairs of Amo jeans, they do 100% cotton denim extremely well. These are the softest 100% cotton jeans I've ever tried on in my entire life. So typically, you know, we had all gotten into these like rigid jeans for a while. These are not rigid. The cotton is like thin and drapey, yet still like durable. These are not like the old thin stretchy jeans of like yesteryear. These are really durable cotton jeans, but they feel like a dream on my body. It is bizarre how good these are. I think part of what is pulled into the price point is like really high end quality, 100% organic cotton. I know Amo sources their denim from mills that are known for the sustainability practices as well. And in fact, they have a pretty strong sustainability commitment. You can read about it on their website. I'll put a link in there. I wanna talk about these jeans in general. So I took my normal size 27 and I do find that Amo jeans run a little bit big, especially compared to like Frame and Mother. I'm a pretty solid 27 in both of those brands, but they like fit if you know what I mean, and wear these Amo jeans, I feel like I may have been able to go down a size. That said, I kind of like them sludgy. So these Walter jeans are pretty great. They have an inseam of 29 inches, which I still kind of chopped off because I wanted them just like a little, like I wanted to be able to wear sneakers with them as well as heels. 29 inch inseam. And I like what these jeans do for my normal sort of jeans and a sweater in the winter. They add just enough interest with the Walter pockets, kind of elevates the look a little bit, which it's always nice when I have a formula to just like change it up in the easiest of ways. And this is one of those ways. They're not that high rise. That said, they still look really cute with a cropped sweater for like a date night look. I highly recommend these jeans. I was kind of blown away by how, actually by how good the whole line is. So let's look at the next one. This is Amo's Maya Cargo. <laughs> I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the whole acid wash situation, but it turns out I freaking love these jeans. So I especially like how the waistband is so ridiculously high, but it's not squeezy. If any of you guys have ever worn A Gold E's um, pinch waist jeans, they give you that look without actually pinching your waist. That is my beef with those pinch waist jeans is like, it's actually not comfortable to eat in or sit in or literally do anything at all in. So these are a huge upgrade in my opinion. And I do appreciate that the pockets are more like that slash trouser pocket detail, which you know, this whole thing combined with the cargo pockets and the wide legs, oh my gosh, like the whole package is incredible. And once again, these are that same 100% cotton denim that is so ridiculously comfortable. I am wildly in love with these jeans. The inseam is 32 inches, the rise is over 12 inches, so these are nice and high. You know, once again, I'm wearing a 27. I may have been able to size down, but I kind of like everything a little bit looser these days. So I'm sticking, sticking with what, I'm, with what I've got here. So the Mayas. So next up, Amo's Frida Flair in blue pine. Once again, we have 100% organic cotton and the wash here is what attracted me. This is called blue pine. I wear a lot of distressed denim. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world, but I rarely see a dark pair of distressed denim done well. And that's what this is. So these are freaking fantastic. The inseam is actually 33 inches in length. So for you tall girls, the Frida Flair is a solid choice. The rise is nice and high. So the rise is the same 
it as the Maya cargo jeans, um, over 12 inches, so nice and high, and another really solid fresh option, and good job, Amo, Amo, whatever you're called. The last pair of jeans I tried on from Amo is, these are, called the Trisha Wide Straight Jean. And these are the only jean I tried that is not 100% cotton. They do have like a 2% elastane, a little bit of stretch in these guys. So again, the wash is fantastic. The denim is super, super soft. And I like how it's sort of like squeezed over my hips. Like that was, it just, you know, this is a jean that feels really good. I did want to try on the 26 as well in this style since it was a little bit stretchy. And so lo and behold, the 26 fits like a glove. And so in this one style, I do definitely recommend sizing down. It's fantastic. So the inseam is 31 inches in length. So it's a tiny bit shorter than the other two. Um, it's still too long for me. So I'm gonna have to hack them off if I keep them. Another really solid pair from Amo Denim. That's it. Amo Denim is a higher end denim line. They source the most incredible denim from, you know, sustainably minded factories around the world. They also have an in-house line of knits that are from like local regenerative farms in California. They're trying to do all those smart things in terms of sustainability. The fits are really special. The design details are really special, which is what I would hope for in a pair of $300 jeans. And they definitely deliver. So I'm I'm now struggling to figure out which ones I'm keeping. I mean, I know I'm keeping the Welders, but I really want both the Frida and Blue Pine and the Maya cargo jeans. And I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. They're freaking phenomenal. I know this is like a thank you for nothing. Nobody needs, <laughs> nobody needs another pair of $300 jeans to drool over. But you know, there you have it. They are totally worth the cost. I definitely recommend them. Unfortunately, sorry guys. That's a scoop on Amo denim. Thanks for watching. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, what are you guys called? Oh, the Frida Flares. Ammo? No. Maybe I'll just start over.